The Dark Side of Space, 10 Frightening Theories. The question of why the universe is the way it is has been a subject of intense scrutiny and inquiry by scientists for many years. In an effort to better understand the cosmos and its potential future, numerous theories have been proposed and explored. Some of these theories are quite peculiar and divergent from conventional wisdom. One of the most unusual theories is the brain world scenario, which suggests that the universe exists within a higher dimensional space and is floating like a bubble. Another bizarre theory is the big splat, which posits that two brains could collide and form a completely new universe. These are just two examples of the many strange and imaginative explanations that scientists have developed to explain the mysteries of the universe. Join us as we explore the dark side of space by looking at 10 frightening theories. Number 10. The Great Filter Theory The Great Filter Theory is a widely discussed concept in the field of astrobiology and the search for extraterrestrial life. The theory suggests that there may be one or several filters in the universe that prevent the evolution of intelligent life and restrict the development of a space-faring civilization. These filters could be physical, biological, or technological in nature, and they could occur at any stage of the development of intelligent life, from the formation of life itself to the achievement of space travel. One of the key arguments in support of the Great Filter Theory is the Fermi Paradox, which states that the universe is vast and old, and that it should have produced many civilizations by now. Yet, despite the abundance of stars and planets, we have not yet found any evidence of extraterrestrial life, let alone intelligent life. This paradox has led many scientists to believe that there must be some obstacle or filter that makes it extremely difficult for intelligent life to evolve and become a space-faring civilization. Physical filters could include the absence of suitable environments for life, such as the lack of liquid water, essential elements, or stable conditions. For example, if most planets in the universe are inhospitable to life, then the odds of finding life elsewhere may be low. Similarly, if life forms in only a small fraction of stars, then the likelihood of finding intelligent life may also be limited. Biological filters refer to the challenges that life faces in developing intelligence, such as the risk of extinction, the likelihood of evolving intelligent life, or the difficulty of overcoming the barriers to space travel. For example, life may be wiped out by natural disasters, such as asteroid impacts, or by the emergence of new diseases. Additionally, the process of evolving intelligence is complex and unpredictable, and it may require a rare combination of circumstances and events that are difficult to replicate. Technological filters, on the other hand, relate to the difficulty of developing and mastering the technology required for space travel, such as nuclear fusion, artificial intelligence, and self-replicating robots. For example, if civilizations face significant technological challenges, they may not be able to overcome them and reach the level of space travel. Alternatively, they may not be able to avoid self-destruction, as advanced technology could be used to wage wars or cause environmental disasters. In conclusion, the Great Filter Theory suggests that there are several obstacles that prevent intelligent life from evolving and becoming a space-faring civilization, and that the odds of encountering another civilization in the universe may be incredibly low. Number 9. The Fermi Paradox The Fermi Paradox is a perplexing and ongoing question in the field of astronomy and astrobiology. Despite the enormity of the universe and the billions of potentially habitable planets, the absence of any concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life is a mystery that has yet to be solved. The paradox was named after physicist Enrico Fermi who, during a lunchtime conversation with colleagues in 1950, asked, where is everybody? He was referring to the lack of evidence for extraterrestrial civilizations in our own galaxy, which should have had plenty of time to develop and explore the universe. One possible explanation for the paradox is the self-destruction of advanced civilizations. It's possible that civilizations that reach a certain level of technological advancement inevitably succumb to their own destructive tendencies, such as nuclear war or environmental degradation. The Fermi paradox is a perplexing and ongoing question in the field of astronomy and astrobiology. Despite the enormity of the universe and the billions of potentially habitable planets, the absence of any concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life is a mystery that has yet to be solved. The paradox was named after physicist Enrico Fermi who, during a lunchtime conversation with colleagues in 1950, asked, where is everybody? He was referring to the lack of evidence for extraterrestrial civilizations in our own galaxy, which should have had plenty of time to develop and explore the universe. One possible explanation for the paradox is the self-destruction of advanced civilizations. It's possible that civilizations that reach a certain level of technological advancement inevitably succumb to their own destructive tendencies, such as nuclear war or environmental degradation. Another explanation is the Great Filter Hypothesis, which states that there are certain factors that prevent the evolution of intelligent life. 
This could be due to a lack of necessary conditions for life, such as the presence of liquid water, or the fact that civilizations simply don't survive long enough to explore the universe. Despite the lack of evidence, many scientists believe that extraterrestrial life exists, and the search continues with the use of new technologies and techniques. Number 8. The Black Hole Information Paradox The Black Hole Information Paradox is a paradoxical theory in theoretical physics and cosmology. It states that the laws of physics, especially the laws of quantum mechanics and general relativity, may be incompatible with each other when applied to black holes. The paradox arises from the observation that the entropy, or amount of information, contained within a black hole appears to increase over time, in accordance with the laws of thermodynamics. However, the same laws of physics that predict this increase also predict that information cannot be destroyed. Thus, the paradox suggests that information can be lost within black holes, potentially erasing all evidence of the existence of entire civilizations. This presents a fundamental challenge to our understanding of the universe and raises questions about the nature of reality, causality, and the preservation of information. The black hole information paradox has been the subject of much debate among physicists and cosmologists over the years, with no clear resolution in sight. Some propose that information may be preserved in some form within the black hole, while others suggest that the entropy may not actually increase, or that information may be encoded in other ways. Regardless of the resolution, the black hole information paradox has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It forces us to re-examine our assumptions about the nature of information and the role of black holes in the cosmos. Number 7. The Multiverse Theory The concept of the multiverse theory is one that has captured the imagination of scientists, philosophers, and science fiction writers alike. The basic idea is that there could be multiple universes that exist simultaneously, each with its own set of physical laws and properties. These universes could be completely separate from one another, with no way of interacting or influencing each other. Alternatively, they may be connected in some way, with the possibility of some form of inter-universe communication. One of the most fascinating aspects of the multiverse theory is the possibility of there being other universes that contain life. This could be life as we know it, with organisms that are similar to those found on Earth. Or, it could be entirely different forms of life that are adapted to conditions that are hostile to life as we know it. The idea of encountering other intelligent beings from other universes is both exciting and intriguing, as it opens up the possibility of exploring new frontiers and learning about the nature of life and the universe itself. One of the most popular interpretations of the multiverse theory is the many worlds interpretation, which states that every possible outcome of every event in the universe occurs in a different universe. This means that there could be countless universes, each with its own version of reality, where every decision we make leads to a different outcome. This interpretation of the multiverse theory has been used as the basis for many science fiction stories, exploring the idea of parallel universes and the consequences of making different choices. Despite its popularity, the multiverse theory remains a highly debated topic, with many scientists and philosophers questioning its validity. Some argue that the theory is purely speculative, with no concrete evidence to support its existence. Others believe that it is a promising avenue for further exploration, with the potential to shed light on the mysteries of the universe. Number 6. The Simulated Reality Hypothesis The Simulated Reality Hypothesis, also known as the Simulation Theory, is a philosophical and scientific concept that proposes that our reality is not as it appears to be, but instead is a simulated or virtual experience created by a more advanced civilization. This civilization may have created the simulation for various purposes such as scientific experimentation, historical preservation, or entertainment. According to this theory, the simulation is so advanced and sophisticated that it is indistinguishable from reality, and all of our perceptions, thoughts, and emotions are a result of the programming and algorithms of the simulation. The hypothesis suggests that we are living in a computer-generated world where everything from our physical bodies, the environment, and even other people are all part of the simulation. The idea of a simulated reality is not new and has been discussed by philosophers and scientists for centuries. However, recent advancements in technology, such as virtual reality, have reignited interest in the theory and made it a topic of scientific investigation. There is still no concrete evidence to support the simulated reality hypothesis, and it remains a topic of debate in both scientific and philosophical circles. While the idea of a simulated reality can be unsettling, some proponents of the theory argue that it can provide new insights into the nature of reality and consciousness. The theory also raises questions about the purpose of life, the existence of a higher power or creators, and the limitations of human knowledge and understanding. Number 5. 
The slow invasion hypothesis. The slow invasion hypothesis suggests that extraterrestrial life may already have arrived on Earth in a slow and subtle manner. Through mechanisms such as space travel, asteroid impacts, or the exchange of matter between planetary systems, the idea is that these extraterrestrial organisms or nanobots may be so small or advanced that they are not easily detectable by current methods. One of the key pieces of evidence for the slow invasion hypothesis is the fact that life has been found in some of the harshest environments on Earth, such as the deep sea vents and the polar ice caps. This resilience of life on Earth suggests that it could be possible for it to exist in other environments, such as space or other planets. Another piece of evidence for the slow invasion hypothesis is the discovery of microbes and other microscopic organisms that can survive in extreme conditions, such as high temperatures and radiation. This resilience of certain life forms suggests that they could have originated from elsewhere and are adapting to the conditions on Earth. The slow invasion hypothesis also raises the possibility of the existence of nanobots, which are tiny robots that are capable of performing various functions, such as repairing and manipulating matter. These nanobots could be so small and advanced that they are not easily detected by current methods, and they could be present on Earth without us even realizing it. The slow invasion hypothesis is still a theory and has not been proven, but it provides a fascinating perspective on the possibility of extraterrestrial life on Earth. Number 4. The White Hole Theory The White Hole Theory is a concept in astrophysics that suggests the existence of white holes, which are essentially the opposite of black holes. According to this theory, white holes could be portals to other parts of the universe or parallel universes. In essence, a white hole would be a region in space where matter and energy cannot enter, but can only exit. The theory of white holes originated as a way to explain certain anomalies in the behavior of black holes. Some scientists believed that if black holes could exist, then white holes should also exist as their opposite. This idea was further developed when scientists began to study the properties of black holes and the phenomenon of singularities, or points in space where the laws of physics break down. The concept of white holes is still considered to be purely theoretical, and there is currently no evidence to support their existence. However, the idea of white holes has captured the imagination of scientists and the general public alike, and has been popularized in science fiction literature and movies. If white holes do exist, it is believed that they could be used as a means of travel between different parts of the universe or even parallel universes. This idea is based on the concept of wormholes, which are hypothetical portals in space-time that could allow for faster-than-light travel. Some scientists believe that white holes could be the entry points of these wormholes, allowing matter and energy to travel from one region of the universe to another. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the white hole theory remains an intriguing and fascinating concept. Number 3. The Zombie Star Theory The Zombie Star Theory is a fascinating concept that has been gaining popularity in recent years among the astronomical community. According to this theory, there may be stars in the universe that have reached the end of their life cycle, but instead of collapsing into a black hole or supernova, they are still powered by the residual heat from their previous life. This residual heat can be produced by a variety of factors, including residual nuclear reactions, magnetic fields, and the residual heat generated by the star's contraction. These zombie stars are thought to pose a potential threat to other celestial bodies due to their unusual behavior. Because they are powered by residual heat, they do not emit the same amount of light and radiation as a normal star. This makes them difficult to detect and monitor, as they are invisible to many instruments used to observe the universe. This can make it difficult to predict their behavior and track their movements. One of the biggest concerns with zombie stars is their potential to collide with other celestial bodies. Because they are still powered, they may still have a significant amount of mass, which could cause catastrophic impacts when they collide with other stars or planets. This could result in significant damage to the impacted celestial body, potentially even destroying it completely. In addition to their potential to collide with other celestial bodies, zombie stars may also play a role in the evolution of galaxies. Their unusual behavior could alter the dynamics of star formation and evolution, and may even play a role in the formation of black holes. Despite their potential dangers, zombie stars are still relatively poorly understood, and much more research is needed to fully understand their behavior and impact on the universe. Number 2. The Andromeda Collision The Andromeda Collision is a major event in the future of our universe. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies are two of the largest and brightest galaxies in the observable universe. As they move towards each other, they will eventually collide and merge into a single, giant galaxy. This event is expected to occur in about 4 billion years and will have a significant impact on the entire galaxy, including our own solar system. 
One of the main consequences of the Andromeda collision is the potential disruption of our solar system. The gravitational forces involved in this collision are so massive that they could cause our Sun and its planets to be thrown out of their current orbits. This would result in massive changes to the solar system, including the heating of the inner planets, the cooling of the outer planets, and the loss of many of the moons that orbit the gas giants. The Earth, for instance, could be thrown into a completely new orbit, changing the length of its year and the intensity of its sunlight. Another major concern is the potential for life on Earth. Scientists believe that life on Earth evolved in a specific environment that is suitable for the survival of life. This environment includes the right amount of sunlight, the right atmospheric pressure, and the right amount of water. The Andromeda collision could completely change these conditions, making it difficult or even impossible for life to continue to survive on our planet. In addition, the collision could trigger a mass extinction event, wiping out a large number of species on Earth. In conclusion, the Andromeda collision is a major event that will have a significant impact on the entire galaxy. While it may not happen for another 4 billion years, it is important that scientists continue to study and prepare for this event. Number 1. The Heat Death The heat death of the universe is a concept that has long intrigued scientists and philosophers alike. According to this theory, the universe will eventually reach a state of maximum entropy, where all matter is evenly distributed and there is no more energy to sustain life. This means that the stars and galaxies will cease to shine and all matter will eventually reach a state of thermal equilibrium. At this point, the universe will be a cold, dark and lifeless place with no energy left to support any sort of activity. The concept of the heat death of the universe stems from the laws of thermodynamics, which state that the total amount of energy in the universe is constant and that entropy, or disorder, will always increase over time. As the universe continues to expand and cool, all stars will eventually run out of fuel and become cold, dark and inactive. Eventually, all matter will be evenly distributed throughout the universe, with no energy left to support any sort of activity. The heat death of the universe is a sobering thought, as it implies that all life and activity in the universe will eventually come to an end. However, it is important to note that this scenario is predicted to occur on a timescale of trillions of years, far beyond the lifetime of our own sun. In the meantime, we can enjoy and appreciate the beauty and wonder of the universe, and continue to explore the many mysteries that still remain. In conclusion, the heat death of the universe is a fascinating concept that highlights the ultimate fate of the universe and the end of all life and activity. With all that being said, which of these are you looking forward to the least? Let us know in the comments. For now, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.